All right, real quick, I wanted to kind of splice this in. This is a different day. Uh, I cut the trees, the one tree down yesterday. And uh, one of the things I didn't really show that I thought would be good to show today is uh, what it actually, like what a big um, bug kill hit looks like. And this is a pretty decent, I mean, actually this is a really small bug hit com compared to some of the other ones I've seen, but uh, I got probably two good trees in there that I want um, for for eight by eights anyways there's a couple good lumber trees in there too but you can see uh, the pine needles are all dead those are probably two two or three year old dead trees um, those are a lot better a little bit healthier I think than the one I cut yesterday as far as the tops being all rotted out and whatnot but uh, uh, the way I find these uh, I'll put up an image here on the screen You'll see uh, right here, there's, uh, this is just Google Maps, and when you look at it, um, this is kind of the area that I'm cutting in right here. Uh, I have a Forest Service map that shows this road right here as one that you can cut off of. So it, it, it's, I don't have the map with me to show you what that looks like, but you can get it at the Forest Service. Usually they'll give you a map when you buy your your wood permit but right here this is where I'm at um, I scouted this place on Google Maps and what I look for is these red spots now when I um, this one in particular uh, is fairly big I can see it from um, quite a ways and <clears throat> where I'm standing right now is this spot and when you look up the hill um, there's another real big spot up there too so there's a bunch of wood in this area, um, and this is how I find them generally. Look them up on Google Maps and then go ahead and drive out and take a look at what the trees actually look like. So, uh, And the hills, this is what they look like. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's all I wanted to show you for this quick edit. Uh, give you a better idea of what the bug, big bug hits look like and how to find them. And, and, how to be sure you're on forest service land and you're not trespassing and all that stuff so anyway later all right so this is the one part of logging i haven't shown you guys yet um and again i apologize for the no shirt it's actually right here drying out we had a big uh or i had a big storm come through drenched all my stuff i got water everywhere but i wanted to show you how i get a 28 inch plus log just get it up onto the trailer by myself so I'll put you right here and we can do a little bit of a time lapse you can see actually before I start the time lapse I'll show you what I got rigged up I got a little come along here and it actually fell off my angle wood but I get it up to this point off of this log right here and then I wrapped it you got to wrap the chain the right way so that it'll just unwrap itself while you come along it out. And then I choke it here with a separate chain and hook this chain into that chain. Ooh, about lost it there for a second. But anyways, so you twist the chain around the log and then you come along it onto your trailer. Now I'll put you right here and you can watch, uh, watch how it comes on the trailer. I put that log there to do the old uh, ancient Egyptian thing to just roll the log on. It works a little bit better to put it right there and have something to roll against instead of just dragging it on the trailer. Once I get it to where it's at right now, I hook it up up here and then I'll get it on.
All right, so once you get it past halfway, you don't need to roll it anymore, so it comes on pretty quick. All right, so now we'll just rinse and repeat, back the trailer up uh, and do the next log. So I got uh, one, two, three, four more to do. Looks like my shirt's drying out enough. I can throw that back on and not get a sunburn because I am a white guy. Anyways, uh, that's how you load a, a big log onto the trailer uh, by yourself. And this is by far the easiest way uh, I've found to do it. Uh, when I start doing the bigger logs, the 24 footers, um, I'll switch from a come along to a power winch. Uh, I'll have my own trailer by then and I'll need a, a bigger winch to get it on the trailer. So I'm looking at probably a four or five ton, five, four or 5,000 pound uh, power winch to hook up. And, I'll use pulleys and snatch blocks and all that stuff to make it a little bit quicker and a little bit less work on me. So that's uh, that's it for the log and stuff. Uh, it's just rinse and repeat. Uh, keep doing it uh, and get in your woods. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, if you like it, like it and subscribe if you like what you see. So this is uh, where it starts at. You gotta go if you want to do it uh, the way I'm doing it. You gotta put in the work to get your lumber. So that's where you save your money. I actually did a little research the other day, and they run about uh, 100 to 200 dollars for an 8 by 8 by 12 foot beam. So uh, that adds up really quick. But I'll let you go. Later.